I thought we were very unfortunate to lose the game. Um, we had a lot of really good moments. Um, the keeper makes some really good saves. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm really disappointed for the players because we put so much into it. Showed moments, lots of moments of quality on a difficult evening in terms of conditions and the, and the, and the pitch. Um, but congratulations to the Hans. They, they win the game and, uh, yeah, um, they will be happy. And we're, you know, I'm disappointed for my players because they didn't deserve to lose. На жаль, концерту так ми програли, але ми мали моменти, ми мали шанси. Я не дуже в гарному настрій, тому що ми сьогодні програли, хоча ми мали моменти. Я більш навіть я розумію, що гравці зараз теж не дуже в гарному настрій, але ще раз підкреслю, ми мали хороші моменти сьогодні і в принципі могли досягати результати, але я поздравляю. Поздравляю Зорю, вони сьогодні дуже щасливі і з перемогою команду Суперника. Ще запитання? Марк, громче! Чеглара Перейра – чому нову саме чого так було? Чеглара Перейра не був ready, і чому не був? If you are on the pitch, uh, no, no, why Madison uh, didn't appear uh, on the pitch earlier? earlier. Why? Well, yeah, but well, we had so many changes we had to make. We obviously had uh, an early change. Uh, and then we, we had to make a change at half time. And then we had to make two forced changes uh, on 55 minutes. So we, we had to keep one substitute behind. So uh, three of our players were planned to come off. Uh, and, uh, and like I say, it was, uh, it was an opportunity. You know, we, we had to keep until later on in the game. So, uh, but yeah, he, he did well when he came in. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, we did a new change. Потім планували ще зробити три, але розумієте, що у нас слоти для замін. Потрібно було трішки притримати, скажімо так, гру, тому заміна можливо була зроблена не так швидко, як хотілося. Ще запитання є? Дякую тоді вам. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Brendan. It's Ian Stringer. We're live on BBC Radio Leicester. I hope you're able to hear us. Uh, we've just heard Hi, the first few answers. Hi, uh, thank you for taking the time uh, to join us. Uh, I heard your first couple of answers, Brendan. You mentioned that you don't believe that you deserve to lose that. Did you deserve to win it? Well, I thought we had some really good uh, chances, Ian. Um, it's always going to be a close game, difficult conditions for us. Um, but certainly as the game wore on, I thought we uh, we looked like the team was going to uh, uh, going to score, um, and then obviously we conceded a disappointing goal. But we had, we had clear chances in the game. Chenga's got a great chance in uh, in the first half when we won. Other moments where we where we created in the first half, second half Wesley uh, has got a free header. We we got into some really good areas in, in the last 15, 20 minutes of the game, and then of course the keeper makes a, a great save. Uh, right at the very end, so, uh, so yeah, I, I certainly didn't I didn't feel we, we deserved to, to lose the game, but there was much more in it for us, of course, we, we wanted to win, and I think we showed a great desire to, to win the game, um, but tonight was about getting some players back, getting some game time, and uh, like I say, that was uh, that was a positive for us, some of the performance of some of the other players was, was very good, um, but uh, I'm... I'm I'm, I'm disappointed for the players because, like I say, I don't think they, they did deserve to lose. If they did deserve to win, uh, I think we had chances, but, um, but we didn't quite take Anything further for you, Ian? I was holding off for translation, uh, Brendan, I don't oh, apologize. No, no, no. Um, are, you are you concerned uh, by your form at the moment, Brendan? Of course, if I'd imagine Chris Wilder's probably 
sitting there and uh, and thinking this might be playing into his hands. I know you've rested and kept at home the likes of Vardy and, and Tillemans and, and Evans and Schmeichel. So, of course, they're going to be relatively fresh-legged, um, you know, with the, with the schedule in mind. But are you concerned by your, your form at the moment? I'm not too disappointed with really tonight. Of course, Liverpool and, and uh, in particular Fulham disappoints me. But, um, but yeah, we, uh, we knew what tonight was. Uh, in terms of uh, getting getting game time into players that we, we really needed to, uh, and I felt that the performance overall was uh, was was not too bad. Um, we, we we now arrive into a tough game at the weekend, but that was what the season was going to be for us. You know, you think of the number of things we've had to contend with, with injuries and whatnot. I think the players have been fantastic until this point, this early point of the season. So. Uh, so, am I concerned? No, not really. We're disappointed. But uh, there's such a long way to go in this season. On the injuries, Brendan, clearly the one to Charles Arso, and she will be a big concern to Fox's fans who have, have been speaking about it. Um, how is it? Is it the same hip? And, of course, it, it does beg the question um, as to whether he was he returned to action. Hindsight's a wonderful thing. Was it one of those things where he needed to test it? He needed first-team football to test it and, and clearly passed all the tests and looked like he was ready, but, but the first-team football was maybe just a step too far. Is it the same injury, Brendan, initially? And how does it look? We're just in round his groin. Yeah, it was, the, it was the moment for him to come into the game. He's, he went through all the, the protocols with the medical team and... And it's fine. He's been training for for quite a long period, so uh, so this was the chance to, to to obviously put him in, and uh, he was motivated and ready to play. So um, so yeah, it just looks like he maybe overstretched his groin a touch, just felt a twinge. So we need to analyse that when we get back uh, get back tomorrow. And did I see that Wes Morgan picked up a knock as well, Brendan? Yeah, yeah, he's he's, he's had an issue with his back for. Uh, certainly since the period I've been here, so uh, and I think he just aggravated that a little bit. Hence, we had to make the, the early substitution in the second half. So, uh, so yeah, unfortunate, but uh, it was just too short for him to carry on. He felt it at half time, and we gave him that extra ten minutes in the first half. But he was or second half, sorry, but he was he was struggling. Uh, Ricardo and indeed Brendan, in terms of their injuries, I know that'll be the biggest positive for you. If there's anything to to with that in mind, it, the idea was, of course, to see if these players can can get back to fitness. Everything okay with Ricardo and Indeedy returning to to fitness? Yeah, yeah. With uh, Ricardo, I said did well in the first half, so uh, it's just a process for him um, playing games and then stepping up to this level. Haven't been out for for so long, so. Uh, so yeah, so we're happy with that. And then Wilf, as you say, 55 minutes in the game to 60, that was the plan. And uh, so he's came through that well. So, uh, so yeah, so that, that was a real positive one. And finally, Brendan, I always appreciate your time. Uh, I guess this is this is the hard bit now, isn't it? You know, it's Thursday night, you're in, in Ukraine, you need to get back and you've got Sheffield United at the weekend. How tough is that to manage as, as a football club's manager with rest and recovery and, and trying to get your players fresh again ahead of Sunday? How important is that and how hard is that for you now? Well, of course, it's, it's one where we, you know, we, we knew the season was going to be that. You know, we'll play a team that will be fresh, but, uh, but we wouldn't have it any other way. I mean, it's, it's been a Great experience this early part of the season for a lot of the players, playing in high intensity games, and then coming uh, coming away into Europe, and uh, and I think they've coped with that very very well. So uh, so yeah, it, it's tough. Absolutely, we'll get back really early hours of the morning, train tomorrow afternoon, uh, recover, and then travel to to Sheffield on Saturday and uh, and get ready for a really really tough game, but. Like I've always said, we're embracing that challenge and, uh, and uh, we'll, we'll be ready for the weekend. Safe trip back, Brendan. Always appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thanks, Ian. Thank you. Can I sit to Jordan back, Paul, please? Hi, Brendan. Hi, Jordan. Um, just on Ricardo, you said uh, yesterday that um, you, you wanted to get him 75 minutes. Mm. Um, was it a case of seeing Charlo come off injured and perhaps that with the conditions that you, you decided to bring him off a little bit earlier? Yeah, yeah, we looked at it at half time in the medical team in particular. So uh, we just had to be, you know, caution to that. It was obviously very cold and very, 
you know, the pitch was quite slippy here. So, uh, so yeah, so we just wanted to to make sure. But, uh, yeah, he had a good 45 minutes, which was a good start for him. Thank you. Yes, Jordan. Okay, Jeremy Langham, please. Yeah, hi, Brendan. Um, going to Sheffield on Sunday um, with, with four games now without a win, is that just a blip, do you think? It's, it's part of the, the season. I think that um, obviously we, we um, Liverpool and Fulham, we, we, we didn't play so well. The second half against Fulham, we were OK, but it wasn't good enough to, to get results. Um, Braga, as I said, we, we drew, and obviously tonight is a loss, but... Um, no, it's it's not concerning. It's it's going to be the the season. Played so many games, um, numbers of players injured. But uh, but I was disappointed after the Fulham game. But tonight, only for the players because I think they gave so much to the game. Um, like I said, we, we we know what the expectations are of this this season. My, my feeling always was that we could be in and around that top six seven into the new year with everything that we've had to cope with so far. That would uh, that would be really, really good for us. And then hopefully lots of the players coming back. The squad becomes even more competitive. And then we uh, yeah, then we can uh, push on in the second part of the season. But uh, no, we're disappointed not to get the result. But uh, we never get too low when we, when we, when we lose and never too high uh, when, we, when we're winning games and playing well. Thank you. Cheers. I think I'm going to do one more. Let's go to Rob Tanner, please. Hi, Brendan. How are you doing? Hi, Rob. Great. Um, you've said previously that um, it's not ideal playing Christian Fuchs as a centre-back in a back four. It's not something you, you really want to do, but you've had to do that tonight. With the doubts now over Charla and, and Wes as well with his back problem, is that an area that you need to address in the January transfer window? I don't think we'll be doing too much, uh, to be fair, Rob, in, in January. Um, yeah, it, it's something that will look to at it, but um, yeah, it, it's, it's not something at this moment in time we're, we're looking at, but uh, yeah, I don't think there'll be too much business done for us in January. Is, is there a solution internally to a problem at centre-back? Well, well, like what we've done, because of the injuries, we, we've had to go to a three at times, and, uh, and like you've seen, Brooks has played in there. Uh, we've also had um, James Justin can play there as well on the other side of the three. Wolf coming back gives you that option to, to also play there. So, but we'll find a way. It's it's what we've done up until this point. You know, we're not going to moan and, and complain about it. It's, it's my job, my responsibility to find the solutions to that. And, um, and like I say, we uh, we'll, we'll look to cope accordingly.